my experience with the Blackbird Academy students was great. Um, it was obvious that they're 700 plus hours of real hands-on time in the studios during their time at the Academy. It really showed. Um, I think this was kind of towards the end of their, their Academy and the end of their curriculum. So it was obvious that they knew their way around the real studio and you know, they, were, they were very seasoned. The facilities here at Blackbird Studios are some of the best in the world. Um, it's obvious they have studio for any application. Um, and if, you know, if you're a musician or you're an engineer and you know gear, this place has the best gear in the world. Uh, you get to work with countless numbers of, you know, unique and one of a kind and, you know, vintage, you know, mics and pre's and compressors and all, you know, anything. And um, I remember the first day of tracking, you know, we had some 251s we wanted to try and they had a handful of them that we could use and it was just insane and got to sing through, you know, old RCA ribbons and stuff like that it was, uh, you know, it was something that not many places have and certainly don't maintain well enough to keep in working order. So we were able to record two songs here at uh, Blackbird Studios for with the Academy and uh, they were Songs called Get It Right and Last Part of Me that I written, and they were, um, we got to do the uh, main tracking day in Studio A, which is, you know, world famous and just, I mean, a once in a lifetime opportunity there to go in there and record. And, uh, and then we did both those songs, you know, main tracking in a day with the band. And then we did a bunch of overdubs over in Studio E, which is, equal, you know, amazing overdub studio and facility. So getting to utilize these awesome studios and, uh, and gear here at Blackbird Studios, we wanted to, uh, I really wanted to record it organically in the original way, you know, getting to utilize Studio A in that huge tracking room and just all of the different rooms there. It was uh, really important to me. I, I always dreamed of being able to record as a whole band, you know, and getting to do that and that's kind of different than what we're used to you know nowadays when you know if we have home studios or working in smaller studios where it's mostly overdubs and you're laying down one track at a time and which is great but it was uh so having this opportunity to record as a band is gonna you know it, i hope the listener will be able to hear a different sound and uh get to feel the cohesion of it all so getting to record here at Blackbird Studios and record as a band uh, cohesively, it was a lot of fun. I got to bring in my uh, some of my best friends, uh, Jeremy Pearl and Douglas Gross, to play drums and bass on the on the songs. And um, but the really special part was getting to bring my dad out here from Virginia, who's been a professional musician for decades. And uh, I asked him if he wanted to play some B three and Wurlitzer and piano and you know and anything he wanted to throw his hat in on, you know, and it was, uh, and we've, I've been out here in Nashville for 10 and a half years and we haven't gotten to really work together as much as we used to, you know, back when I lived in Virginia and it was, so it was something really special to be able to have him out here and, you know, perform on the songs and share this, you know, share that awesome studio and that awesome experience with him. Mm -hmm.